Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Roman Rebirth campaign. As we last left off, we were trying to stop these revolts that have been springing up everywhere. So hopefully we can do that on this episode. And we will, we will probably be able to because not really big revolts anyway. March up here. We're almost in January 1st, so we're going to have an auto save right away. Perfect, thank you. I do want to improve relations with all my kings. All the people under me. I love and love, love this song. What are you? You're a noble and tangry. Okay. This revolt will be done quickly. Especially uh, once I just kind of destroy their armies. And cripple them. Especially since they lost all of their... Um, morale. Uh, as you walk the brisk pace through an empty corridor in the Imperial Palace, one uh, uh, on your way to another tiring meeting with your ad advisors, you hear a faint whisper from the wi uh, from the window curtains. After redying uh, re redying your dagger, you pull. The curtains aside to reveal Arlapa, the gnome man who re who recruited you into the chariot racing. You, I should have you dr uh, drawn and quartered. You hiss at the man. The entire blue team had their chariots fall out of uh, out fall out from under them. Smiles at you and speaks. Calm yourself, Majesty. Your chariot held together, did it not? I have a new and cunning plan for the next race on the... Okay, let's do it. Why the hell not? I'm always pro crazy stuff. And interesting stuff at least. Okay, this should be the last battle. One intrigue to the hyperdrome. I gain under prestige, 25 gold. The chariot race has concluded, which is awesome. Okay, this revolt is over. Offer peace in for demands. March back here. And we're going to lower all of our uh, retinue. Okay. Still 11,000 retinue is up. Okay, uh... Let's just uh, finish this quickly. I 1240. I don't know why the game isn't just doing this for me. Four hundred thirty. Where is the remaining retinue? Okay. Get it. I should actually start my timer. Uh, 33 more. Okay, this army out here. Just a second. And that will kind of make everyone happy right now. Because um, of the... Of once a revolt is stopped by me, then people will like me. The world is a dangerous place. Blah, blah, blah. Ever. Doesn't matter. Uh, so I can just go and declare another war, which I will. Holy War for Bosnia, Holy War for Slovenia. Um, let's actually try and see. Nope, there isn't any problems. So this is still de jure uh, Byzantine land. So before we actually go and fight the Lombards or s anything like that, I will try just to conquer all of this de jure land back here. And try to at least do something against these guys. But as you can see, it's not really uh, that uh, possible right now since they have just a staggering amount of troops. And uh, I'm going to hire these guys. Um, let's see. My. Hmm. My son isn't inheriting 
the uh, isn't even close on inheriting anything in here. Can I start? To, okay, I can kill him. So I will. I don't care about my uh, my vassals right now if they like me or not. Doesn't really matter. If that guy dies, that's going to make my life so much easier. And I'm 57, which will probably backfire as it always says. Slovenia, we're going to take Slovenia. We're going to take Bosnia later, I guess. So we're going to take all of this. No, all of this. And this territory will remain under that ruler. Going to march these armies right up here right now. And let the other armies just sit back. Sicily has died. I will give you a woman. The vice royalty of Sicily. Be happy with it. I can consecrate ships. Merchant ships. Which doesn't really matter because I won't do it. Bringing my timer a little bit closer so I can see it. They have, of course, started hating me already. And this is the economical patriarchy. Ecumenical patriarchy. What? Economical? Ecumenical. And uh, troubles and peasants. And we already have one in, um, in Antioch. So we have one of the patriarch, two of the patriarchies. One in Constantinople and one in Antioch. And these are the other two, the uh, Roman, Alexandria, and Jerusalem. The other three. So these are harder to take. But the one in Rome, I am going to do this. I'm sorry, I'm, I might be screaming to the mic. I'm going to push a claim for Rome and just go and take it. I don't care if anyone joins in war. Uh, the, the Christians aren't very stable right now. They're very split up. So they won't probably join. If they do, well, bad day for me, isn't it? I will get the tradition because it's uh, kind of not my religion right now. Though much of the Slavs has, have been removed from out here. And uh, one sunny afternoon. Okay, I'm going to end that thought just in a second. Uh, we, the Orthodox, I think, have prevailed against as the true faith. You enjoy a quiet moment away from your... Advisors under the shade of the of a tree in the palatal garden a sound from above catches your attention and As you look up You spot that guy again the chariot gnome hiding on the branch your grace He whispers with a smile before I suffer your wrath. I ask that you hear me out He scurries down from the tree and gives you his new offer fate my have uh, may have Conspired against us in the past majesty, but this time my plan is foolproof. He, uh, he flashes a toothless grin the closest he can manage to a win winning smile third time the charm Hey, you majesty. What do you say? Okay, I'm still going to do that because it gives me good traits and good traits is what I'm aiming for right now This guy should start dying preferably Can I invite him to my court or something? I can't. No. Uh, give that bishop a chance. Actually, I'm not going to give that bishop a chance. I'm just going to send him somewhere. Where is it? Right here. I'm just going to send him somewhere to convert something. Which might be... He will be more useful than just sitting around here. Let's send him to Sweden. It means very soon the scheming Strategia Sielnos II of Calabria will make accusations against me. Do not believe a word of it. He hates me and lacks an honor and the credency. You are this duke. Uh, he is the third in line, so I will actually just give him the land. Whatever accusations he'll make. I will support it. Vile heathens. The chariot. Let us hope. Okay, one marshal. Give chase. Uh, 
in ch uh, I'm not reading this. I'm going to stop them just a second. Okay, you can read it. You can stop the video. And I gained prestige. I lost piety. Okay. Because I, I don't want this video just to go on for years. Now, do we? You are the new patriarch. The new ecclesiarch. Whatever or however it's said. Excellent. Something converted already. So, uh, Iconoclast is being just ravaged right now. It's losing his ground, of course, very rapidly. We did manage to gain us. There are some um, Levenant, Levantinian guys here. But uh, actually, I don't really care about the culture. Especially when we have so many Greeks. Uh, but I care about the religion, so at least they are orthodox. This is just getting awful right now. Though, thank god, uh, it's not that high. Um, this guy, a Tengri uprising. Where? Everyone gather up here. That's the Tengri uprising, only 560. Uh, 561 troops, not really something big. I He did convert that pretty quick, in my opinion. You're going to go and just support them until they finish the siege. Okay. Can I change him? No, I can't yet. This is finished. You march out here. And kill that guy. I want to become an organizer. Organizer is one of the best general traits you can have. And a heavy infantry leader. I don't know why I'm losing troops at my old age. But still. Well, whatever. Excellent. We do have a lot of uh, moral authority. Let's convert the temples built. A lot of temples have been built for some reason. And stuff like that. So what I'm, I am going to do right now. This is my capital. These are all fully built. I will build a castle here. Because I have money right now. Hopefully I will have money even later, but still. La these aren't even changing. Or not even close to change. This guy isn't the best guy ever. And neither are his children because they are not born in the purple. Though that is not... The defining trait you should look at. Look at the good king. My son to marry this Kelve girl. Okay. We do still have land out here, and this is my son. So once he he die once I die he will join my land. There's a uh, peasant revolt out here. I can't help him. I can help him though. Not really finish the job with him. You just have to stay right there. And this is the second peasant revolt rising up there. Which isn't the best thing. These guys have declared war on this guy. That's why they're hostile to me. And they might actually attack me. They might, though they're not. Uh, let's hire some mercenaries. Let's go with some cheap ones. Bring them up here. Just to be careful, at least. At least we can do that. Uh, these 3,000 soldiers, soldiers should march up here and attack that army. So, uh, these guys aren't really at war with, with each other. But they are kind of not combining. And they are still all carling, except for these lands who are, of course, of my kingdom. The, uh, the Norse aren't... Denmark is just conquering weird lands, so they're not going to be uh, reforming their faith. Everything out here is Catholic. So once the schism that I'm planning to do happens, this all of this land will become kind of... Uh, kind of uh, orthodox okay this guy is even 
I've decided to find salvation, Jesus, and convert to Orthodox faith. Oh, dude. God, really? Really? She converted to uh, to Orthodoxy and survived my uh, conquest. So, um, she has four on foreign culture, two business, that's six, maybe one gift will help you? Yes. So at least she will join my realm. And her lands will slowly at least convert into our religion. I don't care about our culture. I never did, never will, never have. So anyway, I did just retake all of my digital lands, almost all of my digital lands. Should, I should potentiate that. You go and march over there. You just get lowered so that those guys won't hate me. And that's actually quite, quite good right now. Uh, how many troops do you have, dude? He has 33,000 troops. Which is mad. Mad. But anywho, I will try to do my best. This guy will uh, kind of finish this before I get there. So that's a little bit scary, though it doesn't matter. I am losing. No, I'm not losing money. Excellent. The majority of something has been converted to something. Okay, now I will change this guy's position into here because this is the only uh, like uh, huge place with a lot of different religious kind of stuff. The east, while the west isn't much better, still. You finding salvation in Jesus Christ helped me a lot, Croatian woman. Though I don't know what your children, what religion your children is going to be. That's actually a great perk. When you try to save your empire, you just convert into that uh, guy's religion that is trying to conquer you in a religious manner and just finish it. Okay, that was done. Can I lower them fully? Yep. This guy is mercenaries though. The Byzantine Empire, the army of Captain Thomas of the Varangian Guard. This is the army of Captain Gerhard. Lord, this is retinue and the vassal army, the um, retinue army. So I can go on a war with King, this guy. So all of these are just de jure claims. There's a claim on Capua and came claim on Istra, which I can start. Corsica and small de jure lands. Of course, I can still start those. Though moving up with de jure land isn't the best idea. I will try to get a uh, claim on this, on Rome, and then get a claim on this, Benevento, and just take it all. There is another uh, revolt, where? Is it an Iconoclast revolt? Of course it's an island, because why the hell wouldn't it be? Race ships 10, race ships 14, 14, 26. This is 60 ships right there. The Monophysite of Heresy has appeared in the province of Albania. Not this Albania. This Albania up here. No, this is Albania. Yep, my Monophysite. Heresy! Let's 64 troops. These are. Th Whoa, not that many. I am going to raise this army, this one and this one, 2000, okay, once those reach uh, the coast somewhere, we will march them up there. You guys uh, do this and that, and thank god Cyprus, uh, Crete has two provinces, so that I can kind of land my armies down here. And then march them out there. This guy isn't yet dead, which is crazy to me. This guy isn't yet. Okay, okay. As I was saying, he was going to die anyway. Mm. 
did he die? He died, yay. Now the voting party starts voting again. And my son isn't even near anywhere where he should be. Come on, vote for my son. He is what? He's visit gothic. Since when? You're Greek, right? Uh, can I vote for him? I, I'd rather have someone at least. This guy. They're voting. Can I kill you now? I can. Let me just kill the top uh, voters all the time until I finish this forever. Okay, you guys gather up. You reach your armies too uh do this they don't have more i have i do have more troops than they do right now but whatever these guys were joining i i can't vote a visigoth a visigoth out here i'd find you someone nice this is my nephew i can actually vote for different people of my family of course Isaris, I can vote for a woman. Um, Isaris, Anna of Rama. The, he's depressive. Eh, to hell with them. Though no one wants to vote for them. Diplomatically explain why I cannot. Okay, let's just wait for that to improve a little bit. I still, I, I'm just trying. I'm just. Please, just do something. Yeah, I'm just going to lose the Byzantine Empire. Why the hell not? I don't need anyone. Let's try voting for this guy. Might he reach the top? He is two votes away or one vote away. Yep. Yep, this guy is my heir. I won't lose any territories. And it is done. March, dude. Deuce of Croatia has died. Okay, I have to give... Uh, no. He's Greek. She is Greek. This guy, what kind of culture are you Greek? Ah, but he's a heretic. Grand uh, of Croatia. He's a heretic. I can't have a heretic leading Croatia. I gain stress. I don't care if I die right now. I, I uh, kind of... Uh, oh no, I should stop this. But sure, fire it. Uh, on whose orders? On this guy's order. Uh, kill themselves. I don't care. Okay, this will go on for a long while apparently. There's another revolt somewhere. Of course it's Albania, of course. Why wouldn't it be Albania? Four thousand troops. Okay. Okay, everyone travel there. The Byzantines are very, very strong. Very strong. You just have to kind of normalize uh, everything and try not to get crushed by the all the um, all the revolts that will start. Uh, my Basilius, I am pleased to report the majority of the population of this has been converted to Okay, except uh, here's uh, here's the economy. Has extolled my virtues of the world in gratitude for my eradication of the heretics in Caesarea. 200 piety. They again the title the noble. Okay. Everybody gets the noble though, still. Thank God I finished my. Um, I finished that. I finished that. Um, what was it called? I finished my heritage. My inheritance problems. Because that was the scariest thing right now. 
let's send you to this. I'm just uh, kind of trying to convert the capitals right now. And uh, these places will become orthodox, so I don't care. They will become orthodox after a while. Uh, Isarius has been in the new Dutch, the Great Republic of Amphil. Ooh, Amphil is orthodox! And he's my heir. He's a republic. Amphil has become a republic. That's is awesome for you, me. Uh, the Amphil will hate me. Because I'm the wrong government type. Uh, wrong government type, minus 30. Electoral titles held. And stuff like that. But... Still though, uh, having a republic under you will make it very, uh, very good because once Amafield grows, it will make me very rich. So I'm happy about that. And especially since they're orthodox, they will kind of spread my faith and everything that spreads my faith is my ally. Ever. Ever. Though Republic don't care about politics, they just care about money. This guy's independent. Oh, but he's not. He's not Zoroastrian. I thought he was Zoroastrian. That scared me for a second. Okay, more people are uh, being converted into Orthodoxy. From probably just from. I am dead. Officially, I am dead. And this guy. I am this guy right now. I am diligent, I am patient, I am humble and I am charitable, but I'm gluttonous. People don't really are not really attracted to me. This guy is my son. And this guy this woman is my wife. I will lose the title that I held I hold right now. Uh my courtier died of natural uh I have less vassal, so I have, will have to give out some duchies. I'm sorry I'm talking this much and this fast. Um, I don't see any bad duchies. Albania, I don't know why it has lands down here. These guys are under me directly. Do I have uh, a duchy for you guys? Grand Vice Royalty, Duchy of Kartil. Okay, that finished that. And now... Um, Okay, I'm just going to uh, want to have a daughter. I want uh, family orientation. Okay. I hope he's traveling there, not just going back somewhere. Go to Albania. It's still weird why this is called Albania. Family first. I've noticed that. Blah, 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 family first, sure. I lose humble. I use money to get learning. My brother. Wow. And he might just murder me because he's an elusive shadow. Here the kingdom of Bulgaria, Duchy of Karuna, from despot Bosporis the Wise. Okay, you did have a son. So your son won't inherit anything because he's awful. Um, Moisia. Uh, Rather give it to him. Grand Vice Royalty, Duchy of Karavina. Grand Vice Royalty, Kingdom of Bulgaria. So he should like me, okay, he does. And the line continues. I am stable again. Bulgaria can become, can have like those half chopped out lands that it wants so much. And I can continue. So in that. Side note, I will finish this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And um, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.